Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Higher Mathematics. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss next PYQ of Linear Algebra asked in CSI Unit December 2023. So, our question is, consider the quadratic form Q x y z is equals to x square plus x y plus y square plus x z plus y z plus x z square. Then which of the following statement are true? So here we have to find the true statement. So this is all other statement. So first we make the matrix of this quadratic form. What is the quadratic form actually in real space? This is x transpose of x right so this is what this is a quadratic form q of x is equals to this so if we have to find the mat this is a quadratic form this is equals to here x square plus xy plus y square plus xz plus yz plus z square now if we form the matrix of this quadratic form what we then get matrix a is equals to how we will write the matrix this is a matrix of 3 cross 3 right and if we have to find the matrix of this 3 cross 3 polynomial how we get we will put here x square that is 1 is xy the coefficient of xy here this is xy and this is yx we have to um, have the coefficient of xy so we get 1 upon 2 and here this is xz the half the coefficient 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 and y square is 1 and this is yz right so yz we have to have the coefficient of yz this similarly here zy half the coefficient plus this is what zx have the coefficient and this is z square so this is our required matrix of this quadratic form now we will see option d the real symmetric 3 cross 3 matrix a will satisfy this quadratic form is invertible now we get this matrix here now we if we have to see this matrix is invertible or not so we have a real symmetric matrix A, this is a symmetric matrix and this is the real entries, right? Now we have to see the invert, it is, it is determinant of this is zero or not. If determinant is non-zero, then it is invertible. Now we have to see the determinant of A. Now we will see the determinant of A. What is the determinant of A? One, one minus one by four plus one by two. This is one by four minus one upon two plus 1 upon 2 here this here this is what 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 2 if we solve this if we, say, we will see that the determinant is 1 upon 2 that is greater than 0 so this is not equals to 0 so we will get the positive for a determinant and which is not equals to zero so if the determinant of the matrix is not equals to zero then the matrix is what invertible matrix so we get the real symmetric matrix we satisfy this quadratic form and it is invertible so this is option is true now we have to see the abc option what the option first we see the option b because if we see the option b this is for there exists a non-zero q u belongs to r3 and here for non-zero u belongs to q3 if it is satisfied this condition then it satisfies this condition also now see this condition now option b if you see the option b here they said there exists a non-zero u belongs to r3 such that q of u is equals to zero so here we have to see that if there exists non-zero u this is belongs to such that this is equals to zero then matrix is what then matrix is what semi-definite if we prove this matrix is not semi-definite this is positive definite then we can say there does not exist any u belongs to rt such that this satisfy this so now in option d we see we form the matrix a from this given quadratic form and we have see that determinant of this matrix is non-zero and if the determinant is non-zero and if all the 
principal minor is positive then we can say this is positive definite matrix this is a short matrix now by this matrix only we will see the uh, principal minor first principal minor is 1 that is greater than 0 second principal minor is this is it if I, if we find the principal minor of this and find a determinant of this would would have uh, it is 1 upon 4 that is also written 0 and we see the whole minor that is a matrix we see 1 upon 2 that is also greater than 0 we see this all minors are greater than 0 so this matrix is positive definite and if the matrix is positive definite then it's uh, there does not exist so this implies what there does not exist u that belongs to r3 such that u of q of u is equals to 0 so if it is not belongs to r3 so u does not belongs to q3 also there does not exist u belongs to q3 such that q of u belongs to u because q is contained in what r so this option first and second is what incorrect option now we'll see for option c there exists a uh, non-zero u belongs to c3 that is a complex such that q u is equals to zero now if we have find any u which satis which is non-zero and satisfy this condition then it is what not positive definite it's a negative definite what the quadratic form of the complex form it is for option c q of x y z is equals to what x conjugate a and x right now if we can if we take one example if we take one example what example if we take iota 1 and minus 1 if we take this and if we put this in this quadratic form this is a quadratic form q x y z if we put here what we get this is iota square that is minus 1 plus iota into y it is iota into iota square is 1 plus iota into z x into z that is minus iota further y into z that is equals to minus 1 and z square that is equals to 1 now if we add this this minus 1 cancel this plus 1 this iota cancel minus iota and this plus 1 cancel minus 1 so this becomes 0 so we get this u u belong u is equals to what iota 1 and minus 1 for which which belongs to what c 3 so c of u is equals to what q of u is equals to 0 so we get here the one this u for in belongs to r3 which make this quadratic form what 0 so this option is true because here exist there exist a non zero we get a non zero u we satisfy this condition so option c and d are true so this is a recent question asked in csi and in december 2023 so this is a solution based on quadratic form there's a positive definite or negative definite so this is a solution of this question if you like this video hit the like button and for more such video you can subscribe my channel thank you for watching